Today, we're going to see how we can copy the value from one custom field to the value of another custom field in JIRA using PowerScripts from C Prime. The way that I'm going to do that is using an event listener. And what an event listener does uh, is allows you to run a, a script every time a specific event is called. So, for example, we're going to attach our copy value on change dot sales script that I have right here uh, on the issue updated event. And what this script does is it ties together this colors custom field with colors too. So if I change the color to green, now colors two is green. If I change it to black and blue, now colors two is black and blue. So it detects a change uh, of the value of colors and every time a change is detected it sets colors to the match. So this script is uh, the one what's doing the, the work here and it is dramatically smaller than it was uh, three minutes ago because I realized that I was doing a lot more work than I needed to. Uh, so it's actually pretty simple now. Uh, so what we have here is we have an array, uh, H, uh, which grabs the field history of the colors custom field, which is uh, this uh, ID right here. I take the count of that array, and based on the count, we have three conditions. The array can be zero, which means the value was never set. It can equal three, which means it's only been set one time because uh, the, the first two spots of the history array are reserved for some other information. Um, or the first one spot, I don't remember. Um, but then if it's large, so that means it's just been set the one time. If it's more than three, uh, it means it's been set more than once. So those are kind of the three scenarios we can have based on the sizes of, the, of this history array. So if it's zero, we don't want to do anything because um, it, it hasn't been set, so we don't need to do anything to the second uh, variable. But if it is equal to or greater than three, then we must do a few things. So we, we kind of have uh, another condition or two conditions within that. Um, one right here is the H count is equal to three, meaning it's only been set one time. So we need to go ahead and, and set the value of the second color field to match. And the other is um, the most recent value of the field. Um, which I, I'm accessing in the history array um, at the last spot in the index. And why this is minus one is because array size, uh, let's say it gives you a value of three, uh, the indexes are zero, one, and two. So that's three spots, but the highest index is actually two. So you got to go back one because, because of zero. So I'm saying the, the last spot in the array, the size minus one, the value of that, if it's different than the um, second to last spot, and it's minus three because uh, the history gives you date value pairs. So let's say this was the most recent spot was spot five. Spot four would have been the date when spot five was set. And then spot three would, would have been the value before that. So I'm saying if the most recent value of the color field is not equal to the second most recent value, then a change has been made and we must set the two fields equal together. Or if the second field has never been set at all because we know because there's only been one change, set the two fields equal to each other. And this right here is where my first script went wrong. I went through this very convoluted way of solving this, which was 
very simple in reality. Um, I just made it harder in my mind. So I just I just needed to set the value of the second custom field equal to the value of the first custom field. I didn't need to do any sort of database ID conversions. I was just overkilling it. So that's our script, but in order to make it run, we need to come down here and set it up as a listener, which it already is because it was in fact running. So let's take a look. So listener is very simple. You have these events and you can actually set up more than one event and you can kind of read through here and see all the different types of events that you can attach scripts to and it is very powerful uh, you know by attaching to issue updated uh, I, I don't need to go into each and every workflow uh, for example to you know make a change I can attach to script uh, it's almost global so anytime an issue is changed I can run the script globally they're very very powerful um, many different types of uh, events you can attach to. Then you just select a script um, that you want to run for that event. You can give a, um, a user to run that script, but I'm going to leave that blank. And then you have the choice between synchronous and asynchronous. And asynchronous, uh, you would run you would select it if you wanted something larger that took more processing power that you could run later uh, but this is a very simple thing so we're gonna keep it synchronous and that's all you do to set up the listener and again you can see any change I make to this colors field happens to colors too so that is how you can essentially link two variables together in Jira using PowerScripts from C Prime. Thanks for watching.